Hi, my name's Hi-Rez Ethan, and welcome to another Global Agenda Boot Camp. This is lesson number three, Launching a Mission. Today I'll be showing you how you can get into the various game types, and how to customize your mission launcher so that you can get into the exact type of game you want. First of all, to load your mission menu, you can press Escape and click Missions, or use the M key by default. There are, also, there are also mission kiosks in the center of Dome City that you can use. Once in the menu, you will notice to the left there are various mission choices. To the right, you will see the more specific choices to allow you to play the game you want to within the category. Let's start with the choices to the left for now. At the top, you will see Special Ops, which is the PvE mode in which you storm the Commonwealth's bases for loot and components for your blueprints. Next, you will see the Mercenary Queue, which is your standard PvP queue. Join this mission if you're looking to fight your friends and make some cash or XP. Next, you will see the Tin Man Defenses that are raids. Uh, these are PvE based where a group of players must keep the Commonwealth from destroying key locations. The War Zone is a future development involving PvP and large battles. Uh, the Arena Mode is a great way for you to test with uh, specific teams against other specific teams built for very competitive gameplay. And finally, ADA Section is where you go to commence in large scale, high consequence battles that allow the capture and control of the world. Know that to participate you will need an agency of at least 8 members to make a strike force. Under the Special Ops menu, you will notice to the right that there are varying difficulties of missions, judging by how high the security placement is within the complexes. You may choose the security level, and if the option is available, may also choose the location you go with, uh, within the security rating. While you won't see it here, there is also an option to wait for a full team, or simply to go with the number of members you have with you. Less people means more rewards for yourself, but also more chance for failure. In the top left here, you will also notice there is a solo queue. Once again, you will receive more loot for yourself if you, are, uh, if you were to take the solo route, but the trade-off is a higher difficulty. Finally, you may notice the double agent box to the right. Right here. This mode allows the Commonwealth to hire out agents such as yourself to fight alongside their defenses. This generates an almost PvPvE kind of gameplay, and can make for some interesting outcomes to PvE. Under the mercenary queue, you will notice that there are checkboxes to the left of the mission choices right here. These allow you to decide whether you do want to participate in these missions or if you don't. Unchecking a box means that you will not encounter that game type when the game starts. To the far right of your choices, you will see small blue circles with white arrows within. These will give you short briefings, briefings and explain how the gameplay works within Although this particular ga type of mission, as you can see here. Robotics. Finally, you may notice that there are small silver and gold tokens under mission choices. Now, you won't see it here, but they're usually sitting right there. If you see golden or silver tokens here, you will know that you are able to receive mercenary or conquest tokens, respectively, within that mission type. However, once you are unable to see them anymore, that means that you have earned all you can in that mission type and must try the others to receive more tokens. And that about wraps up Global Agenda Bootcamp for now. Go hit the mission screen and score some credits and tokens, agents.